artists if you're ever going to find anywhere probably in the entire United States. It's like going to any tattoo studio. If you think they're good, it really doesn't mean much. Because who's doing your tattoo? These guys are. Mike Balky's doing your tattoo. Michael Holder, Beth Schneider. These are the people actually doing your tattoo. So just because you're getting a Tattoo Factory tattoo or one of the other many studios in Chicago, you want to really search out your artist. We have a website, www.tattoofactory.com. List every artist individually by their specialty. You can look at them, at the samples of their work, check out their schedule, come in and see them. We really just go on a, a walk-in or appointment. We do whatever you want. Definitely, Paul. Just uh, reiterating what you said. The beautiful shop wouldn't mean anything without the great artists that we have here. And you guys really, really are the best. Uh, we're a fully customized shop. Walk-ins are definitely welcome here. We have millions of designs all over the walls. That's our portfolios, you know. We have specialized photographs with all our work, but a lot of people can come in, pick from us stuff on the walls. We'll change it around, personalize it for you. You know, you don't have to be just like the guy next door. You can walk in and get a daisy. You can walk in and get a rose. You can walk in with, a, with an idea in your head, and these guys can draw it. They can draw anything. It doesn't matter. You'll, you'll find in Chicago you have street shops. You have to pick what's on the wall or get the hell out. You have custom shops. They don't even want to do anything. They, the artists feel that it's their art, and they have to put on their art, and you don't even have a say in what you get. One of the greatest things that we discovered, and we did this from the day we opened in 1979, you're the customer. It's your tattoo. They'll say, you pick it, we stick it. We have over a million designs to choose from on the wall. You see a rose you like, you can get it. You can get it right then and there. If you have an idea in your head, these guys can draw it. You want something custom, you want a portrait of your grandmother, of your child, your baby's footprint. It doesn't matter. These guys can draw anything, as any custom shop should be able to do. Or you could just walk in and get tattooed. You, just, you don't want to make a big deal out of it. You want a little tribal piece on your lower back, because you know that's going to make you look really cute. We're open from 10 in the morning till 2 in the morning, seven days a week. There's always a tattoo artist, always a piercer on staff. We've been in Chicago since 1976. We're three blocks west of Lakeshore Drive at Montrose, and we're one half block south of the Red Line at the Wilson Stop. We've just extensively redesigned the website. It's www.tattoofactory.com. That's T-A-T-T-O-O-F-A-C-T-O-R-Y. The wonderful thing about the website, not only does it give you directions, it tells you our hours, it gives you our phone number. There's a discount coupon that you could print out and bring in. We always honor. More importantly, the biography of all the artists and the piercers are online, including their online portfolio. You could very, very easily navigate through each individual artist by that person or by the individual design, by just portrait by just tribal and get a feel for not only the kind of art that we do here but maybe the kind of tattoo that you would like to get. Mike. My first tattoo, I had a little heart and a rose on my arm there. And my dad had one, so I figured that would be a good, a good way to start and not get in trouble. Um, from there, I just kept getting tattooed. And I've had formal art training and decided that well, tattooing would be a good way for me to make a good living. But from there, I just went on to tattooing. We're open every day from 10 in the morning until 2 in the morning. We're open seven days a week. Trends have changed throughout times. So I went from doing small tattoos, a lot of biker tattoos. Um, trends really turned into doing a lot of small little roses on girls, hearts, eagles, such and that. But now we're doing a lot of very large pieces, full back pieces, sleeves, full leg pieces, um, with the big majority of it being about 70% females. Um, and they are getting large pieces, usually much larger than men are getting now. Um, I really like to trend myself. I think it's a wonderful swing. Um, Art-wise, you know, if you look at older tattoos, you see very small work, 
really blotchy, kind of hard to see. Now you're dealing with very large, beautiful, colorful pieces. You know, really pieces of work, you know, artwork. Um, and I think that has to do with a lot of our artists here in our studio. A lot of the guys here have had formal art training in college. Would normally run about 15 artists here. Here at Tattoo Factory, I think we're special because all our artists are fantastic. A lot of guys here have been to college. Um, all the work is guaranteed that we do here. And we've been in business for about 30 years here. Tattooing's always been a great part of my life. Ever since I was a child, I've always looked at people, admired their work, you know, even when it wasn't really the trendy thing to do. Um, I started being tattooed when I was a young kid. Um, decided that in my early 20s I would like to be a tattoo artist. I've been tattooing ever since. I think it's a great thing. Clients are always really happy. And I have like 100% satisfaction. It really turned into the mainstream thing to do. You can express yourself very well through a tattoo. A lot of inner feelings go into it. You know, a lot of people, they have, they do like memory tattoos of you know, deceased family members, portraits of children. There's deep meanings. You know, it could be something simple. It might be a baseball bat to myself and somebody else that goes on to years and years of their love of baseball or their son loves baseball. There's always deep meanings, which is a wonderful part for me to work on people and learn their, their stories about it. But to explain to somebody that basically just liked it to him, it was kind of hard. They would just stare at you and think you were nuts. Well, now it's quite common. You'd be surprised how many doctors, lawyers have full pieces underneath their three-piece suits. People want to talk about tattoos. They want to know how many you have, where they're at, why did you do it? And then they also, you know, surprisingly show you theirs. And I'm even surprised sometimes at the people that show me their tattoos and just how big they are. Jackie, she's been a client of mine for quite a few years now. I'm going to be working on some, you know, larger pieces I have on her leg with some swallows. Okay, right now all I have here, this is just some Vaseline. Just going to lubricate the skin slightly. We'll begin coloring process. I'll work on the darker colors first, working my way into the lighter ones. Jackie is a work in progress. The tattoo I'm working on today will actually take me about 30 to 40 more hours to complete. Today I'll probably be working on about two hours, three hours. That's pretty much a normal sitting time, mainly for myself. At that point, I'll be quite tired. The speed of the needle is quite fast. You actually don't see the needle moving in and out without a lubricant would cause a slight burn to the skin. So with that, it allows the needle to glide through the skin, which is basically just making little tiny puncture holes and depositing the ink down into the hole. And that ink is staying in the, the cells in there, which is allowing that to be tattooed. The ink on the top of the surface is just being wiped off. Once again, my name is Mike Balky. Come on down to 4441 North Broadway. Come see us. If I'm not here, one of the other artists will be more than happy to take care of you. Look forward to being your tattoo artist. My name's Casey. I've been here at the Tattoo Factory since roughly 1999. Forte, I would say, is anything big. The bigger, the better. It's not to say I won't do anything small, but traditional American, traditional Asian style, whatever you got, as long as it's cool. Right now, I'm working on a uh, rather large back piece on a friend Chris here. And I believe this is our third session out of... Who knows? <laughs> Probably about 15 hours into it. 
A session usually is however long somebody can sit. If it's something small, obviously it can be done in one session. Something larger, usually three, four hours, however long it can take. The place, it's state of the art. Everything's brand new, disposable tubes, as you can see. But we're the best, frankly. Hi, I'm Alex. Tattoo artist at the Tattoo Factory. I'm doing a large piece on my buddy today, a traditional piece. Uh, I've been here since, on and off since 92. Uh, Polly built us a nice new shop. It's a great, great place to work. Uh, there's a lot of great artists who work here. My specialty is, or what I enjoy doing, is larger 40s, 50s, old school type of stuff, which you can see on this kid. And uh, I'm just fortunate enough to be able to do a whole chess piece on this guy today. So. Hi, I'm Beth. And I'm a tattoo artist here at Tattoo Factory. This is my customer, Quinn. I started working at Tattoo Factory about a year ago, but I got my start here about five years ago. Um, I wanted to work for Tattoo Factory, I think, ever since I was a teenager. I used to come here to hang out and get tattooed, and I just love this place. I've, I always have. I like the vibe here, and everybody's really friendly and, and helpful. Quinn here is getting a lotus flower, and she asked for me to draw this up for her. Originally, she wasn't going to get it colored, um, but she then ultimately decided she wanted color in the tattoo, so she's back here today getting it colored in. A lot of us enjoy drawing uh, for our customers. I mean, that's basically underneath everything. That's what we are as artists. So um, drawing is, 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 a, is our hobby and our passion, and, and, and so it, it, therefore when people want custom work, it's... it's it's a lot of fun for us to draw stuff up for them. Hi, my name is Michael. I've been at Tattoo Factory for about two and a half years now. Uh, I came over here because I like the way Polly runs his shop. By hanging out in the tattoo shops when I was in college, um, getting tattooed, and it seemed I was already an artist. It seemed like a a career that I would enjoy more than teaching at the time. So I uh, quit my teaching job and started an apprenticeship in Florida. And apprenticed with uh, my tattoo artist for about a year and then moved to Chicago about 11 years ago. And I've been tattooing here in the Midwest ever since. I've been tattooing for about 10 years now. Primarily I like tribal, black and gray and Celtic. Um, this is my brother Lamont. We've been doing mostly custom black and gray work on him for a couple years now. Pretty much just all custom stuff. We come in, throw a few ideas around, throw it on paper, and then throw it on skin. And he usually gives me all the artistic freedom I want, so he usually comes out with some of the best work. I'm Chris Wagman. I've been here since 2001. I actually started getting tattooed pretty young in life. Uh, got my first tattoo uh, underage. And I just fell in love with it. You know, uh, I knew from that day that it was what I want to do. You know, for the rest of my life. So, ever since then, I've been. You know, I tried to find someone to teach me, and uh, finally found someone. And long story short, I ended up here, and I've been here ever since. Uh, as far as tattoos I like to do, uh, I really don't have like a preferred style. Uh, I'll do anything, you know, um, fold Japanese sleeve or, you know, rose on your mom's ankle, whatever it is, you know, I'll enjoy doing it. Uh, you can find me here at the world famous tattoo factory at 4441 North Broadway in Chicago's Uptown. Hi, my name is David Dillon. I've been tattooing since 1998, but I've uh, been an artist my whole life. Um, I've been at the Tattoo Factory for 
about a year, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, a lot of good guys to work with, a lot of great artists. Um, free reign to, to do any artwork the way that you want to do it, a lot of custom work. I, uh, I, I like to do a lot of Japanese, tattooing, uh, traditional American, uh, pretty much everything. Stay well-rounded, portraits. Um, you got to be able to pretty much uh, do what the customer is asking and do it well. This is Stephanie, and we're doing a, finishing a little inside part of a, a, whole, a bigger arm piece, which represents her being a mother and her son Nova, which is my son. A lot of different people do get tattooed, and I think it's, it's changed more as more time goes by as it was 20 years to 10 years to present. Um, tattoos are becoming a lot more acceptable. I think that was what the the stigma was before that either had a lot to do with like you know if you were in jail or you'd been you know military but it's it's like crossing a lot of boundaries i think uh, a lot of things has to do with a lot of really good artists started tattooing which before i mean it, i mean just a lot of people who had great art backgrounds started tattooing and it kind of pushed the envelope for tattooing to to like excel and the artwork to become a lot more phenomenal so um it's been a good thing for tattooing, I think that that happened. Hi, my name's Jay. This is Larry. He's a very, uh, very good customer of mine. I see him um, at least once a week. And uh, he has a lot of the work that I've been doing as of late. He very first started with this piece, just, just this piece here. It's all of his family. And uh, as so a mother, grandmother, um, grandparents, it's a tribute to them and then this side piece which is I'm very proud of we're not quite finished with it yet but uh, we we started the color and most of the background in it my portfolio and everyone else's portfolio is here um, on the website at www.tattoofactory.com and uh, you can also stop in to the store and take a look at our full portfolios here hey I'm Dawn I am doing an English crest tattoo on my big brother. Right now I'm about to put the stencil on, so I'm preparing the skin first. I've been tattooing since 1998. I've been at Tattoo Factory since 2004. Before that I was in Atlanta. I want the stencil to be straight while he's standing up. So I'm going to put that right there. really intricate design here. That's, I'm known for doing really super intricate tattoos. I always start with just a short little line just to see how the skin is taking it and see how the customer is going to take it. You can find me at Tattoo Factory, 4441 North Broadway in Chicago, Illinois. Piercer here at Tattoo Factory. I've been in the industry since 1991 and couldn't have found a better job for myself. I consider it a privilege to be piercing people here in Chicago. I'm not here to scare people and I'm not here to make people nervous. I'm here to make people confident and walk away thrilled with what they got. Today I'm going to be doing a nostril piercing on Miss Stephanie. Miss Stephanie is going to be getting a ring in her right nostril. Uh, this is a relatively painless piercing. It is very fast. Generally, it ends up getting a little tear in the eye, and that's the worst of it. Put a set of clamps on, insert a needle, and the jewelry is installed right behind that. That process takes seven seconds, and it's done. I don't like hurting people, like I said. In fact, if I can make it a little less painless on you, you're going to send your friends to me. 
Miss Stephanie, you're going to need to wash this piercing twice a day. Once in the morning, once before you go to bed at night with an antibacterial soap that's been watered down 50-50. Okay. The first thing you should always do is wash up those hands. When you're done with that, get a good clean wash towel. Fold it up. Hold it underneath as hot a water as you can take and then cover the piercing for about three minutes. This unlocks your skin so it doesn't hurt when you move around the jewelry. And how long can I expect the healing process to take? Six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks. During that six to eight weeks, you'll be cleaning it twice a day. Okay. Um, after eight weeks, if it's not completely healed, there's something going wrong. Please okay. be in contact with us sure. as soon as possible. All right? Okay. Um, now, as far as the equipment that we use, it's all independently sterilized. The needles are single service only. The jewelry and needle come in an independently packaged setup. Sorry. This is to assure sterility from clock. Since we're, we're working from a manufacturer here, we have to ensure that everything is sterile in our autoclave that's been sport tested. We're doing the right side, correct? Right side, yes. Are you nervous? Yes. You're nervous about this? Have you ha you've had this done before, yeah, right? Yeah, I've had it done. It's definitely a eye-watering experience. So. Well, I don't mean to be tooting my own horn, but you haven't been pierced by me. It's been a long time since I've done a piercing in front of a camera. I'd like you to take a good deep breath for me. And exhale. And again. And exhale. And then one big last time and hold it. Exhale slow. We're done. I hope that was not done. And so Julie, you just take a second more. Beautiful. You can look towards me for a moment. Beautiful. Thank you for sitting so still, Stephanie. You sound like a rock. Mm -hmm. I would be honored to pierce you. I can pierce just about anything on the body, and I would love to do it for you. There is no problems with private parts of the body. We have a totally sealed off area that guarantees your privacy. Um, all the people here are very respectful for your needs, and we want to be your piercer. So, thanks again. This place is 2,200 square feet made exclusively for tattooing. It wasn't just an old storefront. We put some chairs in and went as we went along like most studios are. We built this place from the ground up to be a clean, strict functioning tattoo studio. We've got auto sinks, auto faucets, auto soap dispensers. Our lights are mounted in the ceiling. They're remote controlled to shine down on you without actually getting so close that they get contaminated. Okay. One thing that I do want to point out to anybody, when you're getting a tattoo, tattoo really has to be done clean. Not only does it have to be done well, because a bad tattoo lasts just as long as a good tattoo, forever. But now that we know that you guys are really, really the best artists in Chicago, there's things you got to watch out for. I'd like to show you something that has been used in the industry, geez, since the, since the late 1800s. Cavemen. Cavemen days, yeah, as far as I'm not beating a rock against this. This is a stainless steel tube. It's used to hold a needle, to hold the ink. It's with most of the older tattoo studios and whoever's still using one of these, my God, they ought to be put out of business. 
This is scrubbed out and used over and over and over on every customer. At the tattoo factory, we don't believe that. We've been a leader in this industry now. Geez, for, for over 10 years we've been using this plastic disposable tube. Tell us about the plastic tube we use here, Mike. What we do use is brand new disposable plastic tube. As you can see, well, let me see this a second. This filthy, I don't want to even touch anything. What you see is this brand new tube. We use it once and throw it away. It's quite simple. I would not be tattooed with anything other than this, and neither should you. Now remember, now this isn't some tattoo factory invention. You can, you can get these plastic tubes anywhere. They're cheap. Every artist should be using them. My God, it ought to be a lot to use them. But just remember one thing. If you go to a place that isn't using these, get up and leave. Run screaming out the door as fast as you can. Uh, so don't forget, we're looking at 4441 North Broadway. That's in Chicago. We're, at, we're three lights west of Lakeshore Drive at Montrose. We're a half block south of the Wilson Stop and the Red Line. I mean, people have been coming from other states for years. So if you can't get here, just call 773-989-4077. We'll give you the directions. Or go to our website at TattooFactory.com. That's T-A-T-T-O-O-F-A-C-T-O-R-Y, TattooFactory.com. Check out all the guys' works. Check out directions on how to get here. There's even a discount coupon for you web-savvy people save you a little money. Yeah.